Hello YouTube people. So you've made the wise decision to download and install Python with Pygame. Good choice. I'm going to show you how to do just that as well as use Sublime Text to uh, get all this working and make some games. The first thing you want to do is download Python. So go to python.org downloads and at the top it'll say download the latest version for Windows. That's what we're installing on so let's do it. So we're installing version 3.9.6 it downloads pretty fast. Now we want to install now, but first make sure we click on add Python 3.9 to path. That is very important. Make sure that's checked. And then you click install now. And it'll take a moment to install. Once it's done, it'll say setup was successful. Close. So the next thing we need to do is we need to modify our path. So type in path and it'll say Edit system environment variables, yes. Click on environment variables and click on the one that says path. We want to edit this and as you can see we have a whole bunch of Python stuff. We need to delete all the old ones and make sure our new one is in there. Once that is done, click OK. And so once we change our path, open up the command prompt and type in Python version again and it will say Python 3.9.6 so far so good right the next thing we want to do is make sure pip is in, installed and updated so type in Python slash M dash M pip install upgrade pip in this case in my case it's already updated that's good because we need to make sure we are fully updated with everything. The next thing we need to do is install Pygame. So that is super easy. Pip install Pygame. In my case, it says already satisfied. That's fine. It may install some stuff for you, it may not. After that, we can test it. Type in Python. Type in import. Hi game. And it should say hello. And it'll give you the Pygame version as well as the SDL version and Python version. So now we have Python working from the command line. That's good stuff. Next thing we need to do is install Sublime Text. So Sublime Text download. Click on the Windows version. Save it. Run it. Yes, I want this app to make changes to my device. So literally, yes, click next and click through everything. I already have it installed, as you can see in the background. Awesome. And we're done installing stuff. The next thing we need to do is within Sublime Text itself, under Tools, you'll see a build system for Python. Make sure that is selected. So what we want to do is make sure it actually works. Again build system is Python and you want to press control B to build it. What this does it's going to display the Python version 396 that's what we want as well as the install location. You may need this for other issues later this is good to know. After that let's try testing Pygame. So you want to import Pygame. Next we'll have a we're going to initialize Pygame. We're going to create a window with a resolution of 800 by 600. We're going to set the name of the window as Test Pygame. And then what we'll do is we'll make a little loop. We're going to set a game loop variable equal to true. And then our loop, while game loop is true, it's going to keep going forever. And the important thing about Python is indents. Make sure everything is indented under loops and ifs. And this is a great example of that. So under our while loop, we have an indent for a for loop. This for loop is going to check all the events in the py, py game event. And then we have an if check. If the event equals py game quit, which in this case is when you hit the X on the window, it's going to set the variable game loop equals to false. And when that's done, Pygame is going to quit. So control B again. Here we go. We have a, our window 800 by 600. 
And it does nothing because we haven't told it to do anything. Click the X. That's it. You're done. You are all set. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any problems. I'll be happy to help.